Hey everyone, it's Snipesy and Mogbox is more storage than The Last Hope International. I've done some grinding and I'm pretty much going to go for everything that I've equipped and uh, bought. So basically for all the characters apart from Edge I've bought Sacrificial Dolls. And uh, the new skills, actually I can go through this as well. The new skills that um, these characters have got are... Stampede Slash, uh, Antidote which cures poison, healing as well, and I got first aid for Limmel because um, she has really low health and um, um, as, soon as, she, uh, as soon as she joins the party she's level 1, so that's not a good thing really because it kind of sets her back from the party really. But anyways, other than that, um, I'm just boosting up the skills for the different characters, whilst I show what's changed and what's not. Hmm, go for that. Yeah, go for copy. Party SP for that. Yep. Review. 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 All right. I think that should be it for the skills. Also, I need to um, change up the tactics actually. Oh, I've, well, I've done the basic one. So, I'd definitely recommend in terms of tactics for Limmel, um, I'd say stay out of trouble, because her close physical attacks are terrible. She's more of a caster, she, yeah, I'd definitely recommend her as a caster. Um, I'm going to go with Gaga and Frozen full force. Uh, Raimi's fine with um, Fight for Your Style, so is Edge. He uses quite a lot of MP, to be fair, in freestyle. but. That doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it then. Alright, so let's continue. So we need to go and cure this Boculus thing with Lemel. Try and find a cure. So I believe we have to go this way. Did I talk to you? I think I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Oh wait, I forgot something. There's a chest in there. And I forgot to get it. Typical me. Well, there might be a few, but I think there's only the one. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so what's in this one? Blueberries. Yay. I've never actually seen anyone else so happy about blueberries apart from that YouTube video. <laughs> blueberries! <laughs> it kind of makes me laugh when I see the blueberries like, oh no. That poor girl. <laughs> right, yeah, I think we've finished, um, no, actually not. Well, let's go in here, just in case, because I know there is a chest in there, but I don't know if you can actually open it straight away. Ah, oh, we can. Yay, what's in here? Demon amulet. Let's have a look at it. Oops. Notifies damage from demons 20% of the time. And it increases intelligence. Yeah, let's have a bit of a close look at it. So yeah, it increases intelligence and defense. Okay. I could have equipped it to Limmel, but I think we should be alright. No, we'll be fine. Because we need that sacrificial doll just in case she dies. Because that will not be fun. 
but since I've done some grinding, it should help for, uh, with, uh, you know, like, the level and stuff. Especially with, like, the enemies that'll be coming up. And yeah, there's, like, plants with giant frigging legs. What is this? Honestly. And now there's lizards with legs. Yeah, like, humanoid legs. Crazy, right? Ah, there we are, chest. Oh, we got some money. So it's called Fall, not Gill. Right. Here I need we to go. remember that, because I keep on forgetting that it's Fall. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Very good. Let's take on this lizard. <laughs> Prime to strike. Oh, and there's a mushroom. Come on, now's our chance. Now's the time to strike. Right. Um, I'm just gonna. So yeah, this is kind of. Well, this is kind of like why I'm not seeing um, these or close up attacks because it doesn't go well. Not I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. I must become stronger. All right. Got some weapon data as well. I think it was called Skullbreaker. That doesn't sound nice. No, thank you. Oh, chest. I remember that there's chests here, like in this section, but I just don't remember where exactly they are. There might be something up here. I do not remember. No, there is not. Hello, Mushroom. I don't really want to fight you right now. Okay, I think that should be fine for chests over there. So now we can actually head on to where we're meant to be going. Which is across this bridge. Oh, and there's another lizard there. Dark blue one. I don't think there's a chest here, is there? Oh, there is. Alright, more blueberries! And then a lizard, go away. Don't you growl and screech at me. And here we are, we're in the uh, snowy section of that world. So bright. I don't actually know if the brightness is so screwed up because the actual game or the actual settings, it's just so bright. I can barely just see my feet in this. Yeah. Alright, more money. Alright, so let's go up the hill. It's another lizard. And I think there's something down here, isn't there? Yeah. There we go. Oh, we've got hide. And that will be handy for Limmel. Oh, oh, yeah, we don't have to boost up. Diverts the attention of enemies, making them target you less often. Yeah. So, it basically costs 1 MP, because whilst you're in battle, you just hide away from enemies. Right, let's quickly save. wrong. No. <laughs> Some things... Well, yeah, obviously, if things like that happen. Some things working its way inside me. What is it? It's the light of symbology. Huh? 
What just happened? Th this is incredible, Edge. It seems you've gained the, the ability to use symbology. Symbology? Me? If I had to guess, I'd say the power within this door drew out your inert symbological abilities. Huh? Looks like you don't have any Ray Ray. Ray. <laughs> what? No way! Edge, that's so, that's so unfair. Hey, don't look at me. <laughs> you really are something, Edge. My in, uh, initial impressions were spot on. Please, FaZe. You don't have to hold me up so high. Ugh, this is no fun at all. Yay, we've learnt healing. Just what we need for this level. Ooh, stone golden thing. I want to fight you. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so... Let's do we can hide away from these things, like this. We must make the most of our so you can use it as much as you want, just as long as you have one in hate. Right, I'm gonna fight you. I could have done this all by myself. <laughs> Too easy. Too right. This feels pretty... Daily training is the key. Very good. Leveling up. And we got monster data. Right, now this place is quite a puzzle. Let's just get that. Anti poison amulet. So, if you see these things here, you can just interact with them like this. Something weird to happen. Yeah, that. <laughs> so, we basically use those so that we can get across the higher sections of the building. But yeah, if it's not glowing, we need to find a stone to put in it. But for the ones that glow, that means there's already stone in them, so we're fine. Alright, there's one there as well. Alright. So, which way do we go? I think we go to the left this way first. I don't know, there is a very important item in this dungeon, and it is so helpful, you could be able to find every single thing in this game because of it. And this is it. Treasure Sense. So I believe, Ray, uh, not Ray, um, Lemel is the only one that can learn this skill as well. A book about the passive skill Treasure Sense, which displays the locations of treasure chests on the mini-map. Read it to learn the skill. So yeah, if we go on the map now, and as you can notice, we can see all the chests we have opened and have not opened. So that is, like, really handy, because you can find all the chests in this game. Which, oh, it's just... So handy. We've got a shining stone, just what we need. But yeah, it's so helpful that we can just find everything. So I believe we can't open this, can we? No. Protected by IEP. Right, so we're gonna keep on going this way. Because uh, we need some. Uh, yeah, we need another shining stone. I think. Since the way is blocked. Right, up we go. And there's a giant skeleton. Well, not giant, but. Yeah, he's doing his own thing. And there's a. Oh, there's it again. You're gonna see a lot of those. I've got one. Guardians Rapier, yeah! Right, let's check this out. 
Oh, it increases intelligence. Right, we're definitely equipping that. Yo. Um. Oh. Um. No, I don't want you. Bye bye. <laughs> I believe there's um a chest here as well. Yeah. There we go. Another shining stone. I'm also going to have a look around the other section as well to see if there's more chests. And maybe if there are more shining stones. Because I can't remember if there's more here or not, but why not? So yeah, if you can see here, that's basically the thing that we lifted up. Yep, another shining stone. There we go. Any more chests? Oh, there's one over here. Oh, go away. Please go away. Nice, we'll fight you. Right, let's use Raimi so that we can try and get this, um, this last uh, bonus ball thing to get. Because um, she has the critical hit point. Try again. Wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Oh, why are we collecting their droppings? That's a very strange thing to do. It's one of the strangest things to find in this game, actually. Oh, we got focus. Oh, that's a good one. Right, so with this skill, it increases the chances of landing critical hits. And um, at the moment, Raven is the only one. And uh, oh, this is a really helpful skill, so I'm gonna boost it up just by one. All right, so there we go. Oh, and it's a wolfy thing, and another lizard. Actually, we haven't fought a dark blue one, so let's take it down. Come on, let's do this! Oh, and there's the skeleton the most... over there, wherever it's gone. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh. No. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you are not casting the last spell. Awesome. Oh, 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 Interrupt an enemy's casting. <laughs> but yeah, Raimi's really handy for that kind of thing, really. Just like stopping anyone from like casting symbology. I don't think, yeah, you can't interrupt um, enemies casting symbology if they're in rush mode, though. That's the only thing. And as well, for. Uh, monsters that do not flinch, that is um, another drawback, and, well, it's another thing where you can't interrupt their symbology. So that goes to things like boss battles or strong enemies, really. Right, so now we have the last one to lift up, and a wall might... Well, my... God, he is so close to us. Right, let's see if we can run away. <laughs> Probably not. No. Okay. Right, before I forget, focus. Focus on me. There we go. And then, whoa, oh my god. I want to fight you. I forgot how to do it. There we go. Rise up the earth. Okay, this is probably proving a bit difficult than I thought. Bad luck. Yeah, I'm probably having very bad luck. Wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's. Maybe now I can be. A... I must right. become stronger. Daily training is the key. 
This feels pretty oh, good, wow. Kate. It all's catching up quite nicely, actually. She's level 10. Very good. Oh my. No. Okay, so we can't open that, can we? Nope. Okay, there's another chest up here. There we go. Another shining stone. Alright, let's move away. Move away. And then we can go this way. And use another shining stone. One more chest up here. Oh, hold on. Guardian's armor. So yeah, as you can see, the gold chests, you know, they basically mean you get better things. Um, so this is a male uh, armor, yeah. Wonder if, um... So, how strong is his? So, 76. Uh, no. I want the Guardian's armor to go on edge. Since he's a more defensive, well, a more defensive character in general, really, so it makes more sense. Right, come on, Raimi. Focus. We were too careless. Oh, whoa. The only thing is, I can't even deal exactly trophies with the Because you want to have the specific stats and equipment at the right time. So a little bit silly, because it's probably going to take Wonderful. several attempts I'm so to get glad that. everyone's safe. It's so thanks to you, silly. Edgy. But yeah, I guess they are trophies. So, let's continue on. Right, that's already got a shiny stone in it. So I forgot to actually name this place, it's called the Alanar Citadel. Some more enemies. <laughs> There's quite an overload here really. It's quite squished. Right, there we go. Come on. Get the critical! No, it's money. Oh well, we can get more SP anyways. Because SP is really handy. I'd rather have more SP than XP. Now you'll see what I mean! Yeah, see, it's doing quite loads of criticals now, isn't it? Of course it is. Oh well. I was just getting warmed up! Bring him on! Nothing to complain about, really. My god, his MP is... It's like dead to the ground. <laughs> Good thing we got that, then. Okay, so we can't open that, can we? No. Dark energy. Right, so we're probably going to... Oh no. There's a section where you can get absolutely slaughtered by monsters. Because I think there's like two that charge in. It might have been that section actually. Right, so we're able to cross. 
but not through that lizard. Right. Let's see someone else for the whole oh, 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 that was handy. We got another one of those. Oh no, no, no. Oh, okay. So I was going to say, I don't want to lose. Oh my god. I don't fancy losing the bonus board, not after all my hard work. I was just getting There's warmed up! The feeling Bring on. when it gets crushed is. This feels uh, pretty it's good, like, okay? What have I just done? What have I just witnessed? What have I worked for? Right. There's another chest here. And a skeleton. Another shining stone. Alright! Let's keep this up. Oh good. I can't keep being a nuisance forever. Alright. That was a good experience. Oh, ice needles. That's good to go. Let's actually take the time to equip that, even though that was the wrong time to do it with the skeleton right over there. Um Those. Yeah, needs one on healing. Rainy, you can have one for um, uh, well, both to me. Um, let's go for that. Yeah, that's fine. Two for ice noodles. Go for Earth Grave and the Ice Needles. Yeah. Go for Firebolt. Catch it real. One more of those. And now we need to do the config because um, I haven't equipped it, the new skills. Yeah. Pride. I forgot to equip that. Ah, uh, let's do it on that one. Because I, I like Earth Elements, I don't know why I'm, I'm just weird like that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do nicely. Now we have a skeleton to deal with. But I can just run away from it. <laughs> oh no, there's another one there than me. Oh dear, it's a bit too soon. Go away, I have rocks. Or where the hell they are. I have things to move. Right, so we have another one. I was kind of thinking, wait, do we have a bit too many shiny stones? But I forgot about this part where you've got to stack up these rocks so you can walk across. I'll do one more battle before we head up. Alright, we've got some An ambush. lovely Bad enemies to see off of. Okay, there we go. That's what we're talking about. No. Oh my god, go away. Going nowhere. There we go. Right, let's use ice needles. Ice needles. There we go. Lovely. I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. Danger, Useful experience indeed. Ah, cool. Let's head up. <laughs> For some reason I normally find that face works better with um, the physical burst, uh, beat instead of burst. I don't know why, it just feels like he's more of a attacker, less of a like supportive or guard sort of person. He's a bit of a mixture really, but I think he works better for being a natural attacker. Okay, so are we all ready now? Alright, let's um... 
I feel one of these. And blueberries. Yeah, so you do not want to drink that because it's literally the name on the tin. 1 HP. It's handy for if you want to do specific things like um, trophies and things like that. It's handy for that kind of thing, but other than that, yeah. Right, let's head in. All right, this must be it. <laughs> this is not good. Lim! Look out! Lim, get back! Don't disrupt our formation. The only one who's angry here, Limo. Exactly. We're in this together. Edgy. Ray Ray. Bees. Let's do this, people! Alright. We are fighting this giant thing. We must be. I'm going to take the opportunity to actually scan these enemies, which I haven't actually done. It's cool because you can see their weaknesses and what they're strong against, really. And they're from Portland, I felt. Alright. So, grants no guards status. So, that means that um, you can't disrupt it when it's casting spells, basically. And rush gauge charge rate, too. That's not good. And another good thing is that we can actually see the health. Let's um, take down the weaker enemies first. Again. Quiet brave. Right, there we go. That's what we need to deal with. Oh dear, Raimi's in trouble. Run away, run away. Oh god. No, no, no. You do not want to fight me. Right, this needs focus. That is a nasty charge of charge. Sonic Star! This might hurt a bit. Sonic Star! Sonic Star! Oh my god. Right, time to use that one. Face is in trouble. Where is face? There he is. <laughs> oh, there you go. Let's use some symbology. Blindsided, that's when Edge, they actually flinch over the nut. Yes, you did. Well done, face. I must become stronger. Double blindsides enabled avoid 
count is diligence. Right. Diligence. And because minus twenty five percent during rush mode, yay! We got data on the needs. Is it dead? Watch out! Uh. Everyone in one piece? <laughs> Fine. Thanks, Edge. As am I. Faze, you're heavy. My forehead went bang on the floor and it hurts. But I'm glad you could help, Kay? It was nothing. Seems like something fell. Edge. If only we'd made it here sooner. Now we're at an impasse. With our source of knowledge passed away. We don't have any other options? What are you looking at, Lim? Let's go, huh? Ludi's place. Ludi? Who's that? She's my friend. She lives in the other village. Ludi's really sweet. And she always smells so nice. Ludi knows the symbol. We'll be fine, okay? How is it that you know that, Limmel? Because Ludi wrote her name on the wall. When you learn the symbol, you write down your name. It's the rules, Kay. Edge! Yeah, we still have a chance! Alright, so now we need to go and find this Lutie. It's engraved the names of the past oracles, I think. Not that I can read it. <laughs> you just assume. Oh, we've gone out the wrong way. No, we haven't. Yeah, this is the right way. Just got a bit disorientated there for some reason. Alright, so we cannot open this, can we? No, holy light. Okay, let's check this out. Do you think we could use this to get down? Look! It may be worth a try. In fact, to be honest... Yeah, I don't see any other way. Alright, I'll give it a shot. What? I'll go down alone and make sure it's safe. The rest of you can follow behind. N no way! Edge, you are not going first! What? what the heck, no, Raimi? No, 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 and no! Just you would even... Edge! You pervert! P <laughs> pervert What are you talking about? Look, I'm going down first, okay? That's the end of that! Well, someone's getting a little bit flustered. Phew, we managed to get down safely. Yeah. Come on, let's go to that village. <laughs> well, well. Poor Limmel, though, having to witness that. And we've just got a handy skill manual as well. Chain combos! So, this allows you to chain multiple special skills, uh, special arts or symbols together. Now, the question is... Who should I give this to? I think it would probably be wise to give it to Edge, since he uses a lot of MP. 
So, even whilst I don't really, whilst I won't be using him much, he'll be chaining quite a bit. And now that we've used that, we can actually use more skills. So, let's do that for now. Yeah, and they can't really. Yeah. Okay. So now, we need to head to the village. Which is right over there where that entrance is. But before I do go in, I want to check out this um, harvesting point. Here we go! Alright. We got some bizarre fruit as well. It is very bizarre, and I can show you why now. Well, in a moment after this chest. And more blueberries. Okay, so, if we go to here. See, it restores 5% uh, HP and MP, and generates a seed when used. So, hmm, let's use it on edge. So we got a potent protection seed. Ooh, whoa, that's very good. So the potent uh, seeds, they're basically, um, they're seeds that are stronger than the normal ones. So as you can see there, you get 10 guard instead of four. It's very handy. And I will be using them at some point, Those uh, the seeds. Probably when I have more party members, I guess. Or maybe when I have more seeds in general, really. But anyways, we've arrived in Woodley... Yeah, Woodley Village. Woodley Village. Um, let's talk to you. Ah, oh, Charlie, are you from Trion? Or judging by your clothing, perhaps a little farther. Yes, it is very cold. Oh, thank you, hot chocolate. So yeah, that was the name of the village, wasn't it? Oh dear. Right, let's talk to more people. No, you will not have the sword. Something's written here. If you were looking for the Staff Offender, you're in the wrong town, planet, and game. I don't know if that's a reference to something, but <laughs> I don't know. Another gold chest. A curing sheet. Ah, oh, higher. So that's basically something we can use in the calmness as like an interactive item. Hello there. Very nice. Talk to you. I know. Sorry, I wasn't meaning to try and um, leave. Ah, black breeze. Okay. Before I head into the shops, I'm just going to um, stay in uh, this inn. Yeah, I think it is an inn. Yeah. Hello. 80 full. Okay, not bad. So we're just going to have a lovely rest. Uh. <laughs> Alright, and a quick save. Alrighty, let's head to the shops. And I think uh, I heard you can get iron here, but I don't know if that is true or not. Because um, whilst I was looking through the item creation, I need more iron to make the other items. Oh. Oh dear. Alright, we'll go 
search, uh, search for your lost girl. And I believe I know where she is as well. If I can recall. Right, so... This way. Um, excuse me, your mother's looking for you. <laughs> you have to go back home to mummy now, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So now we found her. Let's talk to the woman. Yeah, we found your daughter. Oh yeah, you can open the store now. We'd like to accept some orders. Mix syrup. Oh, I'll be hungry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some rich cheese. I'll get four of them. Yeah, so there's no iron here. Let's talk to you. <laughs> Alright, her cat has gone missing and we're going to go find it. Yes. Let's go and see if we can find it. The curious cat. But before we do that, we need to go to the weapon shop and talk to Lutie. Oh, chest. There we go. This feels pretty good, Kate. Cool. Hello. Let's, yeah, let's accept all of these. Hmm. Flame um, uh, wand. Yeah, we've already got that. Bandit's gloves. I would get them, but I don't really want to steal things from people in this game. Not for this playthrough. Ah, so we can buy iron from the shop. Okay. So I'm gonna buy. Hmm. Get eight. We'll need all that. Let's get rid of you because I'm not going to need that. Some libraries. Hmm. Get that. I'm not actually going to use these amulets, so I think I'm gonna get rid of them, because honestly, I don't I don't really use that kind of stuff. I prefer the sacrificial dolls, really. Yeah, let's get the flame wand. I'll get these as well, just in case I can use them to make things. Right, now let's equip that wand to Lemel. So we have fire elements um, added to our attacks, and it shoots a bottle of fire when we attack. However, that won't be handy for like um, like Lim or really, because she's not much of a physical attacker. She's more of a spellcaster, really. But it's still handy since it's uh, stronger and stuff. And when she does actually hit people, I guess. But now that's all sorted, let's go into here, because I believe this is where we're meant to be. Hello, let's talk to you. So her name is Lutia, not Luti. <laughs> so she must be in here. And uh, I believe we can get some data here, can't we? Yeah. This is Lutie's staff. It's easier to use symbology when you have a staff, okay? 
<laughs> right, let's talk to Lutia. I see. Ludi, teach me the symbol. I'll try my best to still learn Please, it, Please, Miss Katie. Lutia. <sighs> Not so long ago, there was a case of Boculus in this village as well. I administered the Boculus patient my healing symbol, but unfortunately I was unable to cure him. Oh no! What does that mean? I don't know. But I can tell you that this particular case of Boculus was unlike any other I've seen. Healing symbols are crafted by learning the source of the sickness and incorporating that knowledge into the symbol. To cure this new form of Boculus, we need to uncover its source. How do we do that? That, I'm afraid I do not know. Anytime there's something you don't know, you just ask Grandpa. Grandpa knows everything, Kay. Ah, Gimdo, that's right! Right! We're going back to Trion. Wait. Take this. A symbol stone. <laughs> you don't miss a trick, do you, Lim? That's nothing. A symbol stone? To create a healing symbol for this sickness, you must first discover its source and bring it back. The symbol stone is a vessel for that purpose. So it's kind of like a sample container. So we find this source of the disease and put it in here. That's right. I should be the one to make the journey, but... We'll handle it for you. We've got our reliable little friend Lim here to help us, after all. Friend? Tee <laughs> friends. Friends. That kind of makes me smile, okay? Oh? You're not used to having many friends, Limmel? Bleh. I don't need friends like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to sit down and have a serious talk with you sometime. Come on. Let's get back to the village, Kay. Alright. We've got the symbol stone. Let's head on back. On the way as well, we can um, grab that cat that's gone missing. <laughs> so we're currently in Than Elm region on planet Planet Lemurs. Oh, hello, creepy guy. One thing I don't want to do is um. Hmm. I'll use it when I have low MP, then it'll have a much better purpose, really. Alright, there's a chest here. There we go. More berries. And a harvest point. Yay! Here we go! Alright, more bizarre fruit. We love bizarre fruit. There you are! Oh, hello. How rude of you. But if you notice that stone thing there, that's uh, basically uh, a. There you are! Shut up. <laughs> basically a mining point that we can't actually use right now. And that came out of the blow that. Tears will be. We must make the All most right, come on, let's do this! Yeah. Yeah. Let's fight them. I was just getting warmed up! Bring them on! I Take must become strong! Room. Diligence! Diligence! Useful experience indeed! Oh, we got Seraphic Thunder. Right. 
Right, let's head on. Let's keep on going. That'll keep. Here we go. Oh, we've got protection seats this time. They're quite rare to find those, um... So let's head down here. More aqua berries. See, there's already like more aqua berries that we're finding. There's so many when we literally don't need them. Like, there's way too many. Alright, so we just have to go over here, and we have a fairy orchid. Sure is a strange light this flower gives off. So now we have that, the way is clear if over up where that exclamation mark was. And um, I don't know, I can't remember how, but it's like blocked off with something. Maybe with like trees, or plants, or... Something along the lines of that. And there's a giant tree. So pretty. We can use this. Yes, we can. More tasty mushrooms? <laughs> Oh, and it's the little cat. You shouldn't be up. Whoa! Oh, I found a harvest point. We can use this. Oh, we got some ebony. Very nice. I didn't know that was there. Look, there's a little kitty here. This must be the cat that girl was talking about. Come on, boy, let's bring you back home. So we have a curious cat with us. Shame because he's going to be going on the galactic journey with us. Let's fight this tree. Let's see how nature holds up fighting against us. Don't have time to beat the stampede slash! I see! Let's actually see what they're weak to. Ah, fire. Beat this! Rising blade! Oh my god, no! Fancy being poisoned, thank you, Ed. I was just getting warmed up! Bring him on! A man eating tree. <laughs> What's a funny name? Right, let's, um. Yeah, use an aqua berry. So we, we've got five, and we're not going to need all of them, really. I mean, really, we have phase to cure and to, um, cure poison. Health seeds, nice. And I believe there's more harvest points, is there? Yeah, two more. We can use this. Never has point. We can use this. All right. This feels pretty good, Kay. Oh, nice. She has learned wind blade. All right. So yeah, wind blade was the uh, symbology that. The newt was using. It had like a giant white spinning circle things slicing into us. And another chest over here. More aqua berries. 
There are so many. We do not need you. We are going to sell you. Whoa, you can see the palms from here. <laughs> it's massive. So yeah, you may notice as we're coming up, we're back down here. Right by this part, yeah. So, even if we tried, we wouldn't have been able to go that way. Um, I think it would have been blocked off or something. Or you wouldn't be able to go past the bridge. Yeah, we're okay for the chests. It's funny because I check the map quite regularly just to see if I've like got all the chests and things. It's kind of funny. I think I do it a bit too frequently. Probably a bit too spam happy, like But anyway, so it seems like we've got a good amount around here. And I could check out the um the shops. So if I go over here, yes, go in here. I was wondering what that chest was then, but I think I, I realised it's the one that we can't open. Hello, nice to see you too. Oh yay, we've got enough ginseng. Yes, we'll um, give you the delivery. Yeah, I think I'll buy, like, one of each, if I can. Um, apart from, well, I'll, yeah, I'll buy one of them as well. We're fine for that old goop. Get rid of aqua berries. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need them. We do not want them. Yeah, and we've got some um, XP and party SP for that delivery, which is a good thing. Alright. Into the never shop. The weapon shop. Hello, you. Okay, so, um, we do have a hunting bow. Hmm. We could give it up. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to sell it since, um, you know, for the order. Yeah. So, here you go. Have the bow. Go. It's not really much of a big deal since um, there's actually some enemies further on that are weak against fire. All right, let's keep this up. Like what we saw with the tree as well, actually. I can't keep being a nuisance forever. That was a good experience. Very good. Right, so I think we've got all we need now. Although, I will pop into this shop just to buy that illusion thing. Even though it's not that handy, I'll get it anyways. Yeah, there you go. In case we really need it, it's there. Anyways, we need to talk to um, Limmel's granddad. So let's go talk to him. Yo. Uh, the source of the sickness. Speaking with complete honesty, I haven't an inkling what it might be. However, 
a matter I failed to mention when first we met. Several months ago, another celestial ship fell upon our land. What? A celestial ship? You mean besides ours? Only a short time after it fell, the strange monsters appeared, and people began to fall ill from the sickness. Monsters? And a mysterious illness. It all seems a bit too convenient to be a coincidence. Hmm. What do you think, Edge? Edge? Mm. Hello? Anybody home? What? Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, the other ship definitely concerns me, too. One might venture to guess that the other ship brought the source of the disease. It can't hurt to go take a look, at least. Gimdo, where is this other celestial ship now? It fell in the Rinoa Mountains, beyond Wind Swallow Valley. It is a rugged and craggy path. What's worse, the trail is bristling with monsters. It won't be a problem. Leave it to us. Oh, proper words of gratitude escape me. Please, take this with you. You will need it to pass through Windswallow Valk. <coughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Oh. Okay. I know. Limmel? You stay here with your grandfather. We'll take care of the source of the disease, okay? It'll be fine. We'll be back soon. You don't have to worry about us. I'm sorry, Limo. The pain has passed. They are so strong, so kind, rushing into danger for the sake of others, without the slightest hesitation. Perhaps they truly are gods sent to us from the heavens. No, they're not. Edgy and Ray Ray and Faze aren't gods. Edgy and Ray Ray and Faze are friends, okay? <sighs> you may go with them, little limo. Grandpa. You've never opened your heart to anyone, yet you let those people see your true self without any hesitation. That makes me very, very happy. But... Come now. You're going to cure me, aren't you? I'll be getting better soon. Raimi, hmm? this other ship, you don't suppose it's the Aquila? I thought you were brooding about something, so that's it, huh? It's not possible. Gimdo said the other ship crashed here several months ago, right? Can we be sure? Huh? I don't think Edge's theory necessarily misses the mark. Put simply, warp travel is movement accomplished through the distortion of time. Therefore... It's theoretically possible that an error taking place mid-warp could cause the ship to end up in another time entirely. For example, even an instance variance might cause a gap of several decades. Hold on. The Aramia... What about the Aramia? Ugh. Both of our ships encountered the warp anomaly, and we both landed on the same planet. But the Aramia crew was operating on their own. 
They didn't make any effort to rendezvous with us. Why would that be? There's only one answer I can think of. When the Aramia warped out, it arrived on Eos in a time prior to our crash. That's what you mean, right, Face? Precisely. So that means it really could be Crow's ship. But supposing it is, why would... Adi! Lim? Aren't you forgetting something? You forgot your friend, Kay? Wow. We'd have to be pretty absent-minded to forget a friend, huh? Kay. <laughs> then let's go, Kay. All right, we have got the firing so that we can get to the celestial ship, but we are going to leave that until next time. So until then, I'll see you on the next part, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to look forward to some more Star Ocean on my channel. And I will be posting every single week, so until then, I will see you then. Bye-bye.